Welcome to The Scoop, your dose of campus arts, entertainment, and lifestyle. I'm Sarah Hayes. And I'm Melissa Andre. Thanks for tuning in. In this week's episode, we'll give you a behind-the-scenes look at Theater Senior's upcoming production, Comic Potential. Love acoustic music? Well, we've got the scoop on WCNU's second annual acoustic series. So if you're looking for your entertainment fix here at CNU, be sure to stick around. Because it's all here on The Scoop. often make for some great stories, but is the newest blockbuster hit, Due Date, worthy of five stars? The Scoop correspondents Brittany Marks and Jimmy Robson give you the details in this week's He Said, She Said. If you like The Hangover, then you will love Due Date. Due Date will keep you laughing the entire time. The movie has many twists and unexpected funny parts. If you're looking for a good laugh, then this is the movie for you. The Due Date did have quite a few funny parts. Most of the humor towed the line between edgy and crude and oftentimes completely hurdled it. So for those who are easily offended, this movie is not recommended. So if you like The Hangover and don't mind the lowbrow, then Due Date is for you. Looking for some new music to get you through those papers and exams? Well, country music star Taylor Swift has done it again. Alyssa Andre has the review. Country music phenomenon Taylor Swift has done it again. Swift's new CD, Speak Now, hit stores October 25th and sold one million copies in the first week. Praise for Speak Now has been constant and consistent. After her second album, Fearless, released, fans were worried Swift was headed towards a more pop feel for her music, but Speak Now definitely brings her and her fans back to her country roots. Swift directly calls out and criticizes A-list celebrities like John Mayer in her nearly seven minute long song, Dear John, and takes a jab at Kanye West's VMA stunt in Innocent. Swift does, however, remind us why America fell in love with her sweet disposition in music in ballads like Enchanted and Back to December. If you haven't already caught Swift Fever, catch it now with Speak Now, available wherever CDs are sold. Wow, Alyssa, sounds like I need to add Speak Now to my playlist. But if country music isn't your style, what about acoustic? Well, you're in luck. WCNU is hosting their second annual acoustic series, and the Scoop correspondent Jimmy Robson went to see what it's all about. Thanks, Sarah. Talented musicians are all over CNU's campus. Last year, WCNU's station manager, Kevin Garcia, came up with a way to showcase this talent. Uh, the idea for an acoustic series kind of started last year when I first started to become as head manager. I am really big into coffee shops and open mic nights. Um, and one of my thoughts was, well, what if we had a kind of coffee shop night, but it wasn't open mic? Because when you have an open mic night, it kind of runs the risk of... Uh, having acts that are not as talented. So we said, okay, we'll have an acoustic series which will have the same feel, but we make sure that we have the talent there. The acoustic series will feature performers with a variety of different music backgrounds. Um, I've been playing music for, uh, uh, as long as I can remember, really. I play a multitude of instruments, you know, you know any type of stringed instrument, um, anything I can get my hands on, really. Now, what influenced you to play, uh, start playing music, and who are some of your biggest influences? Um, well, I got asked to play in some bands, like all throughout high school, and you know, just like the process of, um, you know, just uh, it's a learning process of what styles you develop and how you play. So, I guess kind of experience has influenced me. From the looks of it, this year's series will be better than the last. To catch a glimpse of these rising stars, come out to Discovery Cafe next Wednesday at 7 for the last session of the WCNU Acoustic Series. For The Scoop, I'm Jimmy Robson. If music isn't your thing, how about some theater? Theater CNU continues their season on November 12th with Alan Ackborn's Comic Potential. Want to know more? Alyssa Andre's got the backstage buzz. Thanks, Sarah. Theater CNU continues its season with this futuristic comedy that explores what it means to be human. Comic Potential tells the story of JC333, an actoid designed to play any role on daytime TV, and Adam Trainsmith, an aspiring author and TV director. When the two meet, JC begins to malfunction, showing what seem to be human emotions. Now, Adam must try to save JC from being melted down for parts while she tries to understand the changes she is experiencing. Comic Potential opens on Friday, November 12th in the Ferguson Center Studio Theater. CNU students are admitted free with ID. It's a well-known fact that students love a good concert, so what bands are students hoping will show up on campus in the near future? I'd like to see Muse at CNU. I think that would be really cool. I would like to see CNU bring the Rocket Summer to CNU. They're an indie band and, I don't know, they seem feasible that CNU could bring them and lots of people here like them and everyone here likes indie music. 
I would love to see Paramore on our campus. I know it's a stretch, but I think they're they're pretty sweet. I think seeing you should focus on more like a band's like not in the typical genres of the you know like the typical rock or hippies, more like the you know the reggaeton or the you know like a pop feel because I think the bands that they, they bring via cab are always like the same ones and they're, to me they're pretty boring. So if they just try you know to diversify more as opposed to like a single like genre, I think you know it'd be better. Well, that's all we have time for today. I'm Melissa Andre. And I'm Sarah Hayes. Be sure to keep watching for more inside information about all the arts and entertainment happenings around campus. See you next time on Shoot.